Thanks for checking out this week in Osara. Surf was pumping this week. Just look at this lady's fly out. That is rad. Is that teal? Whoever that was, that was cool. On my way to surf and work, this guy rode by on one foot and one hand. It's crazy. Watch this. He does some sort of weird power mood after he jumps down. Boing. Ha. So I head out to surf and I saw this. Look at this barrel. Look at the size of the wave and how long it goes. He almost makes it out of here. Oh my goodness, that would have been cool. That would have been one of the better barrels I've ever seen. Might have been a dot. So here's the full wave from our intro scene. Mm. Man, that was awesome. We don't normally get waves like this. Look, Tom's about to get closed down on, he's got to get out of there. Tough Tom's one of the musicians actually playing this music. These little kids are like, let's stay on the beach today, which is a good idea. Olo Max is out there on a weird twin fin board. Holland, but uh, this nice shaper fella dropped these off one night when we were playing music. And Olo Max, I don't think he's been surfing all that long. He's out there charging. Local surfers are getting covered up, enjoying the opportunity for real barrel views. There goes Sam. Sam's already like a local legend. He, he's young, but feels old. I think, I think he's one of the cooler people I know because he's out there. He's finding a way to enjoy his life and surfing is improving. And anyway, check out his YouTube page. That's Tony Fingers Cadell in red. He's telling people to support the WCA. He don't want to have to sit in the beach when the water's all dirty in the rainy season. There's Chris Dodd. He's a big fan of big waves. See him out there on big days most all the time. Stephanie out there surfing. She surfs good. She also boxes good, jujitsu as well. She's a good athlete. And that's a lot of speed. That was right. It's Wilton. Wilton's like 66. Ripped. Surf's good, lives a pretty amazing life. Nice fella. Music Theo, he gets fired up on big surf days. He's out there jumping around, doing all types of frisbee tricks and stuff. It's a big wave. That white water was more than double overhead just in the explosion. I wonder if Jordy wishes he'd have pulled in there. I'm kind of glad he didn't. That being said, he's really good. I saw him get barreled nose to really, really well a couple weeks back. Good surf instructor, good guy. Good surfers out here today. Watch, nice watching these young fellas charge and seeing barrels like that. Holy cow, that's. Again, this is very rare for Guiones. There's Alt Fin Code Greg going out to get in on some action on one of his twin fins. There's Olo Kyle. He's actually playing the box in this music that you're hearing. He's progressed a whole bunch. Look at that. Oh, he'd have made that barrel. That's all right. Look at that. Is that Dana or Tiburon or someone? That guy ripped, he surfed. He made that barrel. Sometimes when it's big, you don't know. Because a lot of these are closeouts. Most of these are closeouts, actually. Like right there, that, there was a warble in that wave that you can't see from the video, or he would have pulled in and gotten out there too. Like it was bouncy out there. There were big sections in the, in the wave faces. Look, looks like he, his rail's off. Ha, ah, that was funny. Man, it's awesome watching people out there charging. There's Vivian. What a wonderful person she is. Oop. Ah, big cut. Ah. Wiping out so much better. Jeez, that's a big old wave. Look at that barrel. Holy goodness. So on my way home that day, that same guy rode back the other direction doing this, whatever this cool move is. He must be professional at this. Anyway, I found that amusing. Never know what you're gonna see on the roads around here. Here's the following day, surf had dropped down. There was still some out there. Guiones changes a whole bunch. You just never know what's gonna happen. So thanks Kenny for this footage. That was fun, that was the big moment. I got the airdrop into, uh, into one. Somebody was gonna miss the wave and I thought, may as well give it a go. So I just dropped to my knees and had a good time. It's one of my favorite photos, watching Chico fly away. That was a good one. Triple Crown Surf in Osara is coming, and sat this upcoming Saturday should be a really cool contest. Go support it. Speaking of contests, look at Jordani, Michael, and Dorian Nosara representing, heading up to El Salvador for the big tournament. There's Romeo. He actually came in the podcast. It was an amazing podcast. He told people, talking about respect, the environment, the town, his family, just everything. Really, really cool. For the guards of school, they need a roof. And over at Swill Runs, we recorded an updated episode 
and we're hoping that people will give back. Here's all the donation information. And if you're visiting or even don't even come here, 20 or 30 bucks even makes a difference. Gregory from Alt Finco, his episode's up on the podcast. It was awesome. Beverly Kitson retires, introduces David, the new director. The Kitson Library does more to help local Ticos than anything or anywhere uh, around here that I'm aware of. So keep supporting them. Runway for the Cause had a second event. Shout out to Abby and everyone who helped make that happen. Wiley B has an art exhibition coming. This is Rich. I'm saying peace out. Thanks for checking out this week in Osara. I'm going to try to get that page going on Instagram with lots of short clips that you guys can enjoy. Peace.